we are, are living in a very dark age. You know, the, the, the leaders are fighting, the people are unhappy, the animals are dying, ice is melting, you know, the world is suffering. All because our society has fallen victim to a great sickness of, of short-sighted greed and unrestricted ego. But I believe there is a way out. My journey began uh, when I saw Al Gore's film, An Inconvenient Truth, uh, when I was 12 years old. I realized for the first time that climate change affects my generation more than anyone else, and I felt this deep sense of calling that I never experienced before. And I made this, this commitment. I decided I wanted to dedicate myself to stopping global warming within my lifetime. <laughs> um, and now I'm, I, I just turned 18, and over the past five years, I've spoken to uh, almost half a million people, which still freaking blows my mind. Um, and, you know, keynoting conferences, sitting on panels with, with PhDs and CEOs have helped organize campaigns, built websites, done countless media interviews. And through this journey, I've, I've found that uh, my entire generation is ready for their voices to be heard. Um, in, in May of 2011, my organization, I Matter, organized this event called the I Matter March, where youth in over 200 communities in 45 countries marched in their streets to raise their voices about climate change, let the world know that it's not about money, it's not about power, it's about our survival. Uh, and around that time, I became the lead plaintiff in this uh, federal lawsuit against the US government uh, for failing to protect our atmosphere as a public trust. Um, and actually, the case was recently taken over by uh, large fossil fuel lobbying groups and uh, dismissed under the, the belief that they have the right to pollute as much as they want. Uh, so now I'm in a very transitional uh, place, both you know, with my work and kind of in terms of my, my personal growth. I've, ever since I turned 16, I've begun to feel somewhat uneasy with this whole, you know, like, woohoo, climate activist kind of like persona. Um, and after a, a life-changing trip to, to Ecuador um, last August, I've begun to realize that, you know, the problems in our society go way deeper than um, carbon emissions and, and trade policies and all that. Really, it's about the way that we think. It's about how we, we value nature only as a resource to conquer. We value people only as, as consumers to persuade and enemies to destroy. I believe if we want to solve climate change or any of the issues we're facing, that core mindset is what needs to shift. Um, and as I've been going through this journey, I've been connected with teachers and mentors who, who truly get it. Uh, and on my 18th birthday, I actually met with this man named uh, Bill Plotkin, who's a um, a depth psychologist, uh, and uh, he's written a bunch of books, uh, deeply profound books. Um, and at the core of a lot of his work is this model for human development. Uh, it's, it's called, it's, he calls it the eight soul-centric stages of human development. It begins with the sacred innocence of childhood, which develops into the wonder and natural, natural connection of pre-adolescence, and then the adolescent stage three, whose purpose is to create an authentic individual social presence, and it continues throughout this wheel into adulthood and elderhood. But according to Plotkin and many teachers who, who I've met, most of our society is still living in the, the adolescent stage three. You know, in, in, every, in every ancient culture, the, the transition into adulthood is extremely important and it's honored with, with ritual and ceremony. But there's nothing in our society. We're, we're, we're all, you know, our country is, our world is run by uninitiated adults. Oh yeah, isn't that great? And I've begun to, to realize that, um, that while this is a, a model of individual human development, you can actually, this can actually be a way to view the development of our species as a whole. Um, we began about 250,000 years ago uh, with, with profound innocence and, and an unquestioned connection with the natural world. We lived very much in, in the realm of the spirit, and, and the task of this stage was to, to begin to develop a, a consciousness that understands that, that we're something different, that we're something independent from, from the natural world. Um, and then came stage two, begin, uh, beginning around 50,000 years ago when humans started uh, you know, burying their dead, making clothing from animal hides, expressing themselves through, through cave paintings and music and dance. And the human world was very focused on, on family and natural connection. And, and our task was to discover the, the nature of our world and to explore our unique place in it all. And then came stage three, beginning around 10,000 years ago, we decided that we were separate from all of nature. We had uh, this uniquely important role in the world and no longer had to, to be governed by the same natural laws as every other species. Um, this began as, as something completely natural and, and, and healthy, but this concept of, of never-ending growth became an addiction. Uh, we, we invented capitalism. We discovered the, the wonders of fossil fuels and what began as a method of defining ourselves quickly turned into a method of destroying ourselves and taking all of nature down with us. This is a, a terrifying reality. 
But you know what? Stage three is not the final stage in our development. <laughs> this is simply the darkness before the light, the, the, the death before resurrection. And as unbearable as it seems, the only option we have from here is forward. The time has now come to finally progress beyond this sickness that we've been living for so long and create something new, something truly and deeply fulfilling. We will create a society that understands that we are just a part of nature and remembers what it truly means to be human and alive, how it feels to be connected with each other, how it feels to be connected with our planet. The time has come to progress into stage four. Our task now is, is, is to leave the comfortable home of adolescence and descend into our shadow, exploring the deep, dark mysteries that define us. This step may not be fun and dandy the whole way, but it's what is needed in order to become a truly mature society. This is what we as a species are ready for. This transformation is, is about way more than solar energy and hybrid cars. This is a defining moment for our entire species. This right now is the moment we transition from the uncontrolled, self-destructive ego of adolescence to the maturity and connection of true adulthood. So now who is ready to join me in this step forward? The step into the dark depths of the true soul, into the profoundly healthy, ecologically sustainable, genuinely fulfilling society that we have been seeking for so long. I can feel it. I know that we are ready. Thank you so much.